Developed exclusively for computer music, Venomode Maximal 2 CM brings you the full functionality of Maximal 2's tape mode, enabling you to squeeze every last drop of loudness from your tracks or just tame errant peaks in convincingly analog style. Featuring just three controls, Maximal 2 CM is very easy to use, and in this video we'll tell you everything you need to know to be able to put this fabulous plug into work. To install Maximal 2 CM on your Mac or PC, download the relevant installer from vault.computermusic.co.uk, register issue 242, or get it from the cover DVD that comes with the print edition of this issue. Double click the installer and follow the instructions to make it do its thing. Once installed, insert Maximal 2CM over a drums and bass groove, full mix or other dynamically varied source. Maximal 2CM is a maximizing limiter, which means its primary purpose is to make your track sound louder. It does this through a combination of compression, brick wall limiting, soft clipping and analog model tape saturation, all running behind the scenes at two times oversampling, with the numerous parameters involved boiled down to just three intuitive controls. The drive controls simultaneously adjust the threshold and makeup gain of the limiter, with the numbers around the knob representing decibels. So, with the knob set to 3, the limiter kicks in when the signal hits minus 3 dB and applies 3 dB of makeup gain to bring the level back up. As the drive is increased, you can hear the volume difference between the loudest and quietest parts of the signal becoming narrower, and the crunch of Maximal 2CM's tape saturation coming into play. The pre-limiting compressor is also affected by the drive knob so you can think of it in general terms as setting the overall amount of maximizing. The three meters show the input level, I, output level, O, and gain reduction, R. The dark green bars are the peak level, light green is RMS, and the white line is the peak hold. As you increase the drive, the orange gain reduction meter starts to respond, indicating the effect of the limiter, and both the peak and RMS output levels go up. The response knob adjusts the release time of the limiter from fast to slow. The faster the response, the less transparent the limiting and the louder the output, as, at the fastest setting, the volume returns to its unlimited level the instant the signal drops below the threshold. Response time is clearly visualized by the gain reduction meter. The ceiling knob simply sets the maximum output level. When using the plugin on a full mix for mastering purposes, you'll want to keep this at or just below zero. For use on individual tracks and buses, lower it as far as necessary to give yourself the headroom required in the context of the mix. The rest of Maximal 2CM's interface is straightforward enough. A small library of presets is accessed via the top left menu and added to with the save button next to it. On the right, the question mark button opens the PDF manual and the power button bypasses the plugin.
upgrading to the full Maximal 2 adds three extra processing modes to the tape style saturation of Maximal 2 CM. Clean, loud and tube. For a limiting only option, extra loudness, and valve style distortion respectively. You also get the benefit of up to 8 times oversampling for catching into sample peaks. Maximal 2 is nothing short of a bargain at just £29. See Venomo's website for more info, venomo.com, and while you're there, why not check out their Pivot Tilt EQ and Complexer Dual Compressor plugins too.